Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve these given quadratic equations that have only two terms. So let's go ahead and take care of this very first quadratic equation. As you can see this negative 6 we want I want you to move it to the right hand side. So so we're going to have on the left hand side x squared divided by 2. When you move this negative 6 on the other side becomes positive 6. Now the next step is I want you to get rid of this 2 that is dividing. How you can undo that division by just multiplying by 2 on both sides. So this 2 and 2 this they are gone we are simply left with x square equals to 12 so now the next step is I want you to get rid of this square to undo this square we're gonna take the square root on both sides let's go ahead and do this thing so we got this square and square root they undo each other we got x equal to positive or negative square root of 12. Now let's go ahead and simplify this square root or the radical of 12. So here I put this square root of 12 right up here. I can can we write this 12 as 4 times 3 isn't it? it could be factored out. We can split this radical up into 4 times the radical of 3 and you can see this thing square root of 4 is simply 2 times just write down square root of 3. So that means we can simply write x equals to positive or negative 2 times square root of 3. So that means our solution set is going to be one of the solution set is going to be positive 2 times square root of 3 and the other one is going to be x equal to negative 2 times square root of 3. So thus our solution set turns out to be 2 times square root of 3 the other one is negative 2 times square root of 3 and that is our answer. So let's move on to our next quadratic equation we want to solve for x. So the very first step is I want you to move this positive 5 on the other side. So we are going to left with 4 over 3 x squared. When you move this positive 5 on the other side becomes negative 5. Now the next step is I want you to get rid of this fraction 4 over 3. So in order to get rid of that fraction, we want to multiply by the reciprocal of 4 over 3, which is going to be 3 over 4. And we're going to multiply 3 over 4 here as well. So this 3, 3 gone, this 4 is gone. So we ended up with x squared on the left hand side equals to on the right hand side negative 5 times 3 is going to be negative 15 divided by 4. So the next step is we want to get rid of this square. In order to undo this square we are going to take the square root on both sides as you can see over here. This square and square root they undo each other we left with x equal to positive or negative can we write this one as we're going to split this radical as a negative square root of 15 divided by square root of 4 and now as you can see this we can write x equal to positive or negative i times square root of 15 divided by square root of 4 is 2. And as you can see this imaginary number i 
is equal to square root of negative 1 and this i is imaginary number so that means whenever you have a minus sign inside this square root we're going to convert it into an i which is an imaginary number thus we got two solutions x equal to positive i times square root of 15 divided by 2 and the other solution is x equal to negative i times square root of 15 divided by 2. So thus our solution set turns out to be i times square root of 15 divided by 2. The other one is going to be negative i times square root of 15 divided by 2 and that is our answer. As you can see that our answers have imaginary number i so that means that our solution set is not going to be a real solution. So these are not our real solutions. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.